Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to handle for complex uh, complex or dynamic web table in a Playwright Python. Okay, I'm going to show you a simple format. Okay, and next uh, like I'm going to give you as a assignment like one type of assignment type. Okay, in case if you are not able to do it this assignment you can comment on my video i'll try to make another video with the for loop section okay i'm going to take the path and i'm going to take it uh, like everything and i'm going to show you like this is a one uh, web table i'm going to take it here here i'm going to use it for one scope okay one, uh, there is a one method called a scope is there okay we are going to take the scope and by using the scope scope what will happen if you are defining that if you take that entire rows or column or table if you take that entire thing and there is a like a scope if you declare the scope then it will take as a particular like if you take if you provide this name then it will take that particular name as a one row okay in that name you can able to you can consider you can take any web element verification or clicking the checkbox any one you can able to do it. This is the one process we have. Okay. <laughs> How we can able to do it by using our dynamic XPath by using for scope. Okay. <laughs> and also I'm going to show you dynamic XPath also. Okay. There are two ways I'm going to show you. And assignment is basically before I'm going to tell you. Okay. <laughs> Here there is a page. If you click the second page, it will display some other elements. You can see fourth element, third element and fourth element like this you need to change uh click on the pages and need to verify whether you are uh, given provided name is presented or not if it is presented then verify and jump out of the for loop okay in case you can able to see next if you click next also it will give the same thing previous also it will give the same thing okay if you can able to click the number you can able to click the next any one is okay if it is click the last uh, row one it should be disable mode that you have to verify if it is come the first you can see if you come to the first you can previous is disable mode if you are a past page the previous uh, button should be like that particular link should be disabled okay if it is the last one it should be a disable for next button okay <laughs> And each page you have to verify whether your particular or verifying uh, element is presented or not. Okay, this is the one assignment. Okay, try with your uh, best way. And in case if you are not able to do it, then I can able to recreate one more video for that. Okay, <laughs> by using for loop, how we can able to do it. Okay, and now here I am going to use it for the scope, which is I am going to use for this particular name. <laughs> Okay, this particular name I'm going to use it before that what we need to do and we need to take that entire table path then we need to inspect here. Okay, inside the inspect you can able to see the table is having ID. Okay, ID you can able to use it here. I can able to use for hash ID. You can see there are three elements are there and then that I'm going to use for TRs. See my, our table is highlighted. Okay, in that what all the uh, TRs are presented, every TR it will be captured. There are 12 TRs are presented. <coughs> sorry, one, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, if you click here the name, you can see the positions are changed. If you click again, see, again it is changed. The different values are coming. Okay, these are options, dynamic web page. This is a completely dynamic web uh, table. You have to try follow up because in real time, maybe you will get it the chance to do it. Okay, before going to real time, you can try with uh, this particular demo application, then you can able to get it more knowledge on that okay first we are going to make it for rows in the rows what i can able to do it page dot locator my locator this one oh sorry this particular one 
okay now i have complete rows now okay you can able to see print you will see whether it is having all the rows or not <laughs> Uh, it is not provided because we are not take the count actually. Okay. If you use the count, it will give us the count of uh, count of the rows. You can see here. See, 12 count is presented. Okay. Our counts are 12 then. Okay. Now we are going to use for scope. Row dot locator. I'm not going to use for page now because I have already row having all the rows from the table. In that table, I'm going to take for row dot locators. Okay. In the locators, what I can able to use double quotation dot a scope. Okay. Now comma has text. <laughs> Which one we can able to choose it? Any name we can able to choose it. I am going to use it for this particular name. Okay and double quotation i'm going to mention this particular name of that okay now again i'm going to mention for locator now locator for what now how my scope is presented in this particular row any value i can able to pick it from that what i can what i need to pick it this checkbox you can see the checkbox is having for class name i'm going to take the class name now okay class name by indicating for dot class okay i am going to use it removing the space and now i am going to use for click out method <laughs> now you can run it and before it is closing i am going to use for time dot sleep with the five seconds because we need to see that whether it is clicking or not <laughs> Now oh, page is loaded. Okay, name is gone actually. It's present, eh? then why it is not clicking? Select uh, waiting for locator tier and locator is scope and filter is basically as box. Okay, the name is uh, refreshed. I hope it after refreshing the name may be changed. I'm going to use for another name. Okay. and this particular checkbox what it is the same uh, checkbox class is same okay just i'm going to use it you can see yeah, it is presented the names but still it is not able to click it We are not user click method. We are user click method. Oh, sorry. Dot, not dot. It is a colon. Sorry. <laughs> Due to this, it is not able to identify our uh, scope. Uh, see, uh, because it, it is a the dot is I mentioned wrongly. It should be colon. If you mention for dot means it will treat as a class where the class name is presented or not. You can see it is clicked already. Okay. <laughs> this is the one format we can able to click it. Okay. And another format also we have and we can able to click for that. 
that is called partial or like uh, dynamic X path. Okay, preceding sibling and all we can able to use it and we can able to click it for that. Now I'm going to take this particular name. Okay, and this is my class. I have to take this particular name. Okay. <laughs> And then I need to use the preceding sibling for this particular class and then I need to choose it. Okay. I'm going to use for TD is mine. Okay. And after that, I can able to use it for text. And the text equal to a single quotation I'm mentioning for this particular name. You can see one is highlighted. Then what we can able to do is we can able to do it for preceding sibling. Preceding iPhone sibling and colon colon and TD. Now you can see a first TD is highlighted. We can able to use a TD itself or you can able to use for class name. There is no issue for that. Okay. If you use the class name, it will directly select it. Okay. Other than that, nothing different. Okay. I'm going to use for class name. You can see now my particular text box is highlighted and I'm going to use for directly and page dot locator and that locator I'm going to mention directly and dot a click. Okay, now you can run it. You can see there are two things, two checkbox should be clicked. One is not clicked. This click does not click them. <laughs> this I think it is clicked. One thing I'm going to change it here. You'll see both should click, but if it is not handling means you can see another format. Okay, one is escaping. Okay, it is selecting for only one value. One after one, okay. That's why it is going off. Otherwise, it will see. Okay, only one particular value we can able to select. That's why it is not able to <coughs> to select box. It is not showing. Okay, but our select option will be work. Okay, this is all about for dynamic X path, like uh, dynamic or complex table verification. Okay. <laughs> I hope it you like it okay and in case if you are not able to solve that particular uh, assignment please comment in and I will make it for another video for that okay thank you for watching please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you